It is Cinco de Mayo, and we are in luck this year, both Cinco de Mayo and Taco Tuesday fall on the same day, and that yes. is today. Of course, we thought that was a perfect excuse to, you know, drink a few margaritas or maybe some Mexican beers. Yeah, I think if they double up, you have to have a party. You, That's the rule. Like an, Cinco de Mayo. And, a, and now a virtual Taco party Tuesday. with your friends on Fiesta Zoom. Fiesta at home. Sure. Mm -hmm. Fiesta in Sucasa. Yeah. I, don't, I don't make the rules. That's what we got to do today. <laughs> so Core Harlan is getting an early start this morning on our celebrations. He's outside in downtown Portland here with some ways to celebrate with Casa de Tamales. Good morning, Core. It is. Tamale Tuesday. It's not Taco Tuesday. It's Tamale go. Tuesday, right? I got my fishing pole out here with a microphone on it. Say hi to the folks, Carl. Hello and good morning. All right. Hello and good morning from Carl. This is Charles Myers here, the uh, the man there. How you doing, Charles? I'm doing fine. Sorry about my fishing pole That's in your face. Okay. From Casa de Tamale in downtown <laughs> Milwaukee. Milwaukee, baby. There you, you are you're downtown slowly Milwaukee. Slowly becoming the man there with that there phrase. You go. What do we got cooking here this morning well, for Cinco de Mayo? What I got cooking over here for Cinco de Mayo is some uh, chicken and asparagus tamales and some Texas wedding tamales. Get up there closer uh, the, to that, Carl. The, so you the, get the, the tamales steam. are in uh, chicken with uh, asparagus inside, cooked in the banana leaf is what we going here today for uh, Cinco de Mayo. And right. I not only have the tamales, but I have the El Pastor over all right. here. Let's talk about the El Pastor the because pork. this is a, what? That's all right. I got the pork bite. El Pastor cooking over here yeah. on the rotisserie here. Now what is that? What is that? That is pork there. You've got some pineapple on this the outside. This is a pork and a pineapple uh, chili vinegar sauce is what it is. Mm. And it rotates on that machine there, and it smells very good. It looks like you got some onions in there too. I got right? onions, uh, pineapple. And a sauce, a chili sauce is what right, it is. Jenny and Emily, I want you to know that Charles says, I brought all this food here before we went on. I brought all this food here. I'm not taking any of it back. So get a head count. And anybody who wants to eat, this is what's for breakfast this morning. There you go. We got it all ready pork, here for you this morning. Pork El Pastor. Pork now, El Pastor. let's talk a little bit about the, uh, the closures of a lot of the restaurants, because I know a lot of restaurants are struggling. You are in downtown Milwaukee, Casa de Tamale. We're in downtown Milwaukee, seven days a week. We're open from uh, 12 o'clock until 7 o'clock in the evening. You are doing and, takeout and we're, as well, right? We're doing takeout right as we speak. Not only are we doing takeout, but we are providing a free delivery service for the public. This trailer behind us, this oh. is a, somebody described this as a food cart. It's a Coleman, it's a Coleman pop-up food cart. This is our trailer, which is a Coleman pop-up, which is for hire. Anybody wishing to hire us to take us over to their home to serve 20 people or less will be happy to take this food over there and cook it up for you. Come on, what could be better? It's going to be 80 degrees on Saturday. That's somebody right. out there. You got your El Pastor and the old meat cooking machine there, and you got Lucy. Does Lucy come with the deal? Lucy comes with the deal. She comes with the deal all the time. Lucy, we got, we got Lucy over there. She's going to be making some El Pastor tacos here today for the staff and some bacon wrapped asparagus because it is asparagus season as I speak. We're harvesting our asparagus right now out at the farm. All right. Let's go. I, I, it's hard to take my eyes off of the El Pastor, but let's come to the table here. we got about 45 seconds, Charles. Okay. I want you to talk about the Grande okay. Tamale right, right here. Right here okay. I have the Grande Tamale. This is, just so happens to be a tamale that we decided to make a big family tamale. So we call this tamale here the Grande Tamale. It has chicken in that particular tamale there. So any of you who'd like to have a nice big Grande Tamale for the whole family, this, we got it all ready here for you. Well, you got mine. I, I worry about Jenny, Emily, Ken, and everybody else. I know there's, what I'm eating. My grande tamale right here. And right over here, I have what, what they call the traditional, I have over here what I call the traditional chips and salsa and guacamole. So this is what we all have right. over here today. This and is the so, money shot. I'm getting a wrap. We got another segment here in about a half hour. We're going to cook up some uh, some of this uh, El Pastor on the, hot, on the hot grill over there. Mmm. Oh my goodness, that looks mm, delicious. So good. I could eat chips and guac as a whole meal. Oh, I, I do all the meal. time. If, yeah. the, if the husband's out of town, that's what I do that's lunch. right there. Mm -hmm. one, yeah. <laughs> one thing about this shutdown that I hate is not being able to do this all the time. There's nothing better than eating on live TV good food like this from I know. Casa de Tamale in downtown Milwaukee. I think there our, our viewers you're, have missed that. Corn. You're in the you're in the open air core right now, yeah. so it's okay. We appreciate your social distancing with your microphone there. <laughs> all right. All right, but, thanks guys. We'll mm -hmm. check back in with you in our next half hour. More, yeah. more fiesta coming up.